We hear Elisha. Speak to the servant. Okay, let me go back to the story before we get to this portion. There was a king who wanted to attack Israel. Now he came up with a plan how he must attack Israel. And he says, I will, I will, I will make a camp to a certain place so that I can attack the Israelites. Now Elisha obviously got the message from the Spirit of God and then he warned the king of Israel to say be careful of this place and this place. It happened many times until this king who wanted to attack them was so crushed and then he said to, to, to his people he said show me one of you is tipping the, our enemies about my plans and then they were honest they saw no key there is someone in their midst who is the prophet of God he sees everything that you say even when you are in your bedroom and then the king said go and look where this guy is and then I will capture this year and this man and then they went they saw the king there and they plotted to go and capture the, the uh, Elisha. They went there. The Bible says they, 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 they covered the place. And the slave, a lady slave, saw those people and went to Elisha. He said, what can we do? There are people all over. I believe that he was scared. Saying that this is our end time. Because these people are so many. We cannot defeat them. They are on the chariots. And surely they are going to kill us. When he goes to Elisha. Elisha was not scared. Must learn about the people we have got. Talking about yourselves. You must always be free in all situations. You will see the power of God. Now, Elisha says to him, Don't be scared. For the ones who are with us are more than the ones who are with us. And he prays to God. Because sometimes, Sometimes you could be positive because of the things of God. But the people around you, when they are negative, they can make you to have fear and doubt God. That's why Elisha had to pray to God open his eyes so that he can see. The Lord opened his eyes and he saw the chariots of fire and he was set up. God cannot wait when he will shake. No. He cannot wait when he panicked. I remember the other time I went to an inter job interview for a good job. I was panicking. I said, God, please make me to have this job. I went on a fasting. I was panicking. How about I said, no, man. I went down on my knees and asked God one question just to free myself because for days when before I sleep I'm stressed when I wake up I'm stressed because I wanted this job but I asked God